Hello, you have reached the Ask Father uh, service of the Fatima Center. Please visit the Fatima Center, Fatima.org, and there you will find awesome resources. Uh, you will find, first of all and above all, our raison d'etre, our purpose, is to present the Fatima message, to use a phrase of John Paul II, uh, which he applied to the faith, but it works here too, in all its purity and integrity, in all its rigor and vigor. Basically, the whole message, nothing added, nothing taken away. There you will have the opportunity, if you see fit, let Our Lady uh, guide you as you tap the numbers into the uh, little thing there to make a contribution to the Fatima Center uh, to help with the expenses of this apostolate. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Joachim and Saint Anne, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Joseph Cafasso, pray for us. Saint Jacinta and Saint Francisco, pray for us. All you angels and saints, pray for us. And, O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, we beg you that you would uh, make us, sh give us a share in the intercession offered by the venerable servant of God, Sister Lucy Mary of Jesus and of the Immaculate Heart. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the question is, tabernacle or monstrance? And this question is from ST in, um, I presume that should be Singapore. Is it a great lack of reverence by the church to expose the Holy Eucharist in a monstrance for adoration in a room? Like just a room, like not a chapel. Many people go, are so casual in this room, they even eat, sleep, and chat on the phone. Seems to me this started after Vatican II. You think so? <laughs> uh, the sacred scriptures say that we men who are so sinful must not see God face to face, or we will be struck dead by the Holy of Holies. So is it better to go pray in that room or in front of the tabernacle of a Catholic church? Uh, well, as the room is described, uh, yeah, better to pray uh, in silence uh, and reverence in, in front of a tabernacle where you're not... Uh, appearing to co condone all this misbehavior. Of course, the, the, the writer is not against adoration or exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, but a, a pious monk, a promoter of adoration, has noted that unfortunately the extension of and making more available exposition has led to a certain casualness where we don't light the candles or we don't use incense. We don't have a priest or, or a deacon in sacred vestments. He said that he went to, he didn't say what it was, but I'm guessing what it was, but I won't give you my guess. He went to a world famous Marian shrine. And when the time for exposition came out, a caretaker, nothing wrong with caretakers, God bless them, but a caretaker in his dungarees or his little janitor's uniform came out, opened up the tabernacle, you know, plunk, no, better to not have exposition than to do it that way. The whole point of exposition is extra, giving our best candles, incense, music. Uh, the music, could there could be a case made for. But no, it's about giving extra honor for our Lord and not this casual approach. So the, the situation described by ST here, wherever in Singapore, uh, or wherever this is, maybe it is what it says, Singapura, but anyway, uh, for people to be in a room, okay, so it's obviously not a chapel, and they're casual, they eat, what? Sleep and chat on the phone? Huh. You know, when I'm up there in the pulpit, do you think I can't see you peeking at your phone? I can.
you know. It used to be a little less obvious when people had wristwatches. They would slowly turn their wrist, glance down. But now it's quite an elaborate action to turn the phone so you can see. I can see it. Don't do that. Anyway, this is not correct. This lack of reverence. Let's, let's bring back uber reverence for exposition. When it's done, let's do it properly. And, you know, like, yes, there's some of these religious orders and movements. And we thank God that there's a Eucharistic element, that they are adoring the Lord. But then it's combined with a kind of a charismatic casualness and a relaxed. And it's the Lord. He loves us. He doesn't mind. And it's like, look... Um, you know, he's with you 24 hours a day, so when you go and get your cheeseburger, he's with you. Did you think of thanking him then? You know, we need to return to, you know, being before the Blessed Sacrament in fear and trembling, and yes, trust, confidence, and love, yes. But the situation, no, anyway, bottom line, just go visit our Lord in the tabernacle in a proper church, and you won't be... Uh, seeming to consent to all this business or even sharing somehow in the sin. So that would be my advice to you, S.T. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you and your loved ones forever and ever. Mm -hmm.